News' Jeremy Winder has been looking at hours of footage and put together our annual review and sports special. What a year it was for Tri-County Sports in 2013. Championships, milestones, and so much more. And it all started on the first day of January when former South Point Stallion Jadavion Clowney made this hit that people are still talking about. Clowney just says, I'll take care of business right here. You give me this long to catch my breast, I'll come off the ball and rock you and get it right back for our offense. It was a magical season on the hardwood. Two coaches reached milestone victories. Northwestern girls coach John Bramlett won number 100 in only his sixth season, while Great Falls legend John Smith captured an unbelievable 900th win. But no one could top the kings of the jungle. The Louisville Lions made it all the way to Columbia, knocking off Well Branch to claim the school's second basketball state championship. Second ticking away, and the state title belongs to the Louisville Lions here in 2013. And how about the Winter women's team going on the road and knocking off Florida Gulf Coast in the first round of the WNIT, which led to a record 1,200 people watching the Lady Eagles take on Florida at the Winter Coliseum in second round action. As the weather warmed up, so did things in Fort Mill, where the boys lacrosse team returned to the state title game after a one-year hiatus, falling just short to perennial powerhouse Wando. In line for the corner. Header, count it, goal, Indian land. The Indian Land Warriors also dropped a heartbreaker to Bishop England in the two-way soccer championship, but it was great to be there as the Warriors repeated as upper state champions. And the only thing harder than a repeat is a three-peat, but that's just what Northwestern high jumper Jalissa Tyndall did, taking home her third consecutive individual championship in that event, wrapping up her Trojan career. And speaking of wrapping things up, the Charlotte Knights bid farewell to Fort Mill playing their last game at Knight Stadium on Labor Day. Meanwhile, Rock Hill produced another NFL first round draft pick and former Northwestern receiver Cordell Patterson. Patterson inside the 30 and on the opening kickoff, the rookie Cordell Patterson goes for the touchdown. Rock Hill's Jonathan Meeks was also selected in addition to South Point's own Devontae Holloman. The football season never got off the ground at Westmere's the Cassava Christian, but that was okay because the volleyball team brought home their first ever state championship. The Andrew Jackson Lady Balls hoped to do the same and fell one game short in the state championship. However, that was not the case for the Carolina Crusaders, who took home their second straight Pioneer Football League title. They would only be outdone by the number one ranked unbeaten Northwestern Trojans who atoned for last season's loss with a 62-35 shellacking of Stratford. Say hey, Willie Mays, Dupree Hart. And as exciting as 2013 was, who knows what's in store for the next 365 days. In Rock Hill, Jeremy Winder, CN2 Sports.